we're back with another episode of playoff predictions. We're going to go through the games this weekend. Uh, we had some hits. We had some misses. Speak for you guys. This guy went perfect. Yeah, we had somebody go perfect yeah. over here. This guy was on fire this past weekend. Damn right. Hitting every upset. I hope you bet it because there's a lot of money to be made there. Of course I did. <laughs> but I'm, yeah, where do you guys want to start for this weekend? Uh, Start on the AFC? Or I say we start on the NFC. NFC? Yeah, why don't we go with the order of the games? Okay, so let's start with, uh, I guess, Detroit San Fran. Yeah, we could do Detroit San Fran. Oh, no, sorry, not, no, no, not no, Detroit San Fran. That's my conference. I'm jumping, yeah. I'm jumping <laughs> ahead right now. Sorry, uh, Tampa San Fran. Is, is it? Is it Tampa San no, Fran? No, Tampa's playing. Uh, no, Tampa is Detroit. facing Detroit. Oh, that's right. Yeah. All right, let me start you guys off. We're going to start with uh, Balt, the Ravens getting a bye week and hosting Houston. The Houston Texans with now, a f- hot CJ Stroud going into Lamar's house. Where do we want to start it? Should I start it off? Yeah, start us off. I got, I have Baltimore. Now, they've been the best, they've been the best team in the NFL this se- season. And all their losses... Should have been wins, to be honest, right? So they have had a couple of collapses, but they, they just... Lamar's playing amazing. You know, he's throwing the ball. They just... And that defense is playing great, you know? Houston, I believe in Shroud. He's going to he's gonna get his yardage, right? But um, I just think that Houston, they're going to get stopped by Baltimore, and Baltimore can pile on points. Right. And they can and time of possession, you know, with Houston, it's always been whoever they faced. It's been like, you know, a shootout. Right. Both teams like they could score 40. Other team can score 40. But I don't think if it becomes that, I still think Baltimore wins it. But I don't think it will become that. I think Baltimore wins like a 35, 20 ish game. Talking about the number one defense in takeaways, in points, like that Baltimore defense tough. Um, Baltimore, I was just uh, bringing up the uh, spread for the weekend. Um, according to Bet365, uh, Baltimore is a nine and a half point favorite. So mm-hmm. even yep. with the nine and a half, that's a lot of points. You know, I'd us- usually take the other side. But I think Houston had their moment. And I'm looking at Baltimore getting rest. I think it's important rest for Baltimore because, you know, every year they got guys banged up. I think it's going to be a blow up. I think it'll probably be like 40-17. Yeah. Uh, I'm leaning Baltimore as well. Just, you know, Stroud, he's been on a heater. He's been playing great. But like Jag said, Baltimore's probably the best team in the NFL right now. Yeah, yeah. their front, and, their front's going to bring and it. Yeah. I do believe Stroud's going to show why he is the up and coming, you know, QB of the future, because like I said, I have them scoring 20. He's going to get TDs. He's not afraid to sling it. Right. Yeah. So I think kind of foreshadowing just uh, my point of view, looking at this weekend, I'm looking at a lot of the guys that had spectacular weeks last week and big upsets. I think they're going to have a bit of a regression. Um. So, and I think shrouds in that boat. Yeah, I mean, in sports, it happens, right? Guys have yeah. their ups and downs, but I think I, he'll be, he's, he's going to be one of the, the main guys moving forward, though, for sure. And I have not seen any real downs from Shroud. Yeah. So. The second game this uh, Saturday, we got uh, the Packers going into San Fran. Okay, let's, uh, let's just take a moment here just to, to talk about what Green Bay did last week. <laughs> okay. Uh, damn. Speechless. Okay. Yeah, that. Jordan loves the guy, right? <laughs> I I'm not gonna go that far. No, no, I'm just saying, like, just not gonna go that, that guy. Far. I think it's early to say. Like, he's had a record run. Like, he's had a, he's had a crazy two month run. But those Cowboys folded so fast. 
and I don't know when the game started, like you could just hear the broadcast, like everybody sensed something was wrong. The They were only down seven and CDs upset. Like they're yelling at each other. Like, yeah, I don't know if that was pre like pregame something happened, but like something was off in that stadium, off with that team. Yeah, like when you saw them walking off the field and they're talking to you, like they had no idea what what each other wanted to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so, so like something was off with that team, and it's obviously that like, we can go, you know, talk about the old co- like the Cowboys, you know, playoffs, playoff failures, same old Cowboys, but. They just, like, I was just, it's one thing to lose a game where you're back and forth, you know, a team shows up, they make a play, you know, you get a penalty, like, you know, you lose a game. Like the Cowboys lost the last couple of years, you know, their coach, last two minute drills, you know, but getting their asses handed to them like that, I did not see that coming. Dude, when they went up 27, nothing. I'm like, I'm like what, what, are that, we, like, what are we watching right now? I think it was at the point of the pick six. I <laughs> yeah. think that was yeah. when like everyone's like any hope that they had was lost. Which is crazy because I don't know if you guys know, uh, the sports books made record money. They had a great day because the people would not stop betting the Cowboys. Yeah. Even when they were down 27. Yep. Yep. They were still getting money on the Cowboys. Mm-hmm. Not this guy. <laughs> <laughs> Did not do that, man. The Cowboys suck. Man, another another disappointing year for Jerry Jones and that franchise. That's yeah, okay. Belichick's gonna go there and turn it around for you him. You think so? Probably not. Belichick's gonna throw everybody a curveball and end up in Atlanta. Yeah, you know what? Yeah. It makes too much sense for him to go to Dallas for him to actually go to Dallas. I yeah. think it's, if it was <laughs> like, any you know what I if, mean? If Jerry Jones was not that o- their owner, I would think he would go to Dallas, no doubt. But yeah, I don't. Jerry Jones, well, it's too much say, too much power. I don't think he wants to let that go. Now. I don't think. I don't think that's it. I think right now, Jerry is in that mode of he doesn't want to make major changes, right? He doesn't want to make major, like the same thing with Dak. Like I don't think he, he would never try to rebuild with like a unless he can trade for an asset you know as good as Dak, right or better. He would never, he would never want like you know to draft a quarterback because now because he wants to win, right? Like he's so old now that if he makes, he, you can't build a team for the future. He wants yeah, a team that'll yeah, win. Yeah, they're not doing right? that. That's why we're just talking so, about a coaching change, a new voice. Um, yeah, no, but that's big. Like he's had Mark Carthy for so long, right? Like I think. I think what he would do before getting Belichick is get rid of McCarthy and just make Dan Quinn. <laughs> you know, the that so of, sounds like the Cowboys. I feel like that's what that's he would such do. Such a before, Cowboys man. This is this is the Cowboys man. Like we're talking about a team that's not even in the playoffs anymore. Yeah, yeah. Like, but yeah, just just to talk about it, it. I think it ends for Green Bay. I'm going San Fran. Yeah, I think I don't think there's much to say about this. I think San, Green Bay, like I said bit of foreshadowing they had their moment just like houston i don't know i think when sam fran's gonna walk over them champ said the same thing about dallas so i think i might change my pick yeah, yeah. <laughs> maybe i'll go back to green bay maybe <laughs> no. I, think, I think brock purdy is not gonna have a letdown i think they just got too much weapons they're also rusted waiting I'm, um so the thing that san fran has and what baltimore have the two teams that i think are the toughest. They're the toughest. And the Cowboys were soft, mentally soft. Yeah. And then they just got physically pushed around. And no way San Fran is letting yeah. Green Bay do that to them. Yeah, I agree so with you. Even, Baltimore and San Fran are just built tough. Yeah, even if it's not a blowout, like, you know, San Fran is going to come out hard. They're going to be hitting. You know, yeah. they're going to run the ball. They, they're they going to win the game. Yeah, McCaffrey's could probably going to run for like 9,000 yards. Yeah. So I think the day one, we've got uh, pretty much a wrap, right? We got all three got Baltimore. We got all three got San Fran. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And all right, let's move over to the AFC, which I think are both much closer games. Uh, Sunday, 3 o'clock, we got the Bucks and the Lions. Which I'm a bit surprised. The Lions are actually six and a half point favorites. Of course I, they are. Damn right. They deserve to be. Yeah? yeah. They deserve to be seven. Something point about that team just... I, I know they got talent. They definitely got talent. So there's two things. One is 
they're going to get it's the perfect playing conditions. Goff is just, you know, any quarterback, but especially Goff, right? Just has the perfect playing conditions there. That's what he needs. And then more so like, you know, they have their offensive weapons, they have their defense. But Tampa Bay, they're not going to be able to yeah. stop. They actually they they might be able to stop the run a little bit, but you have two, you know, you have two premium yeah, backs, got, basically. Yeah, Montgomery. Right? And then... Goff, Goff's going to be slinging yeah. it out. Goff, Reynolds, and Sam Brown are just on, like, this wave. Yeah, Sam Brown should right be now. back, right? He should be. How he's not a pro bowler. That was wild, eh? Yeah. Unbelievable. Yeah. That's tragic. That was... Oh, well, yeah, he did play last crazy. game. I'm thinking of... Uh, the Philadelphia meltdown. I think it's we oh. don't really have a good picture of Tampa Bay. I think we're a bit overrating Tampa Bay because not overrating. Beat, I maybe not. You're right. I just I feel like the game against Philly, like Philly, just no showed and literally they no, but they oh, quit are we, before. Are we saying Philly were frauds? Yes, so, Sunny think- was <laughs> right. Sunny hit another one. So I'm telling you right now, when uh, when Pittsburgh started like 11 and 0. We knew they were fraud because it was all close games, right? Yeah. Either team could have won. And then Minnesota, remember them, right? Same yep. thing. It's always a one-score game, right? And now Philadelphia, same thing, right? They're winning all these one-score games. It's just every year you have that team that starts like, you know, half the season perfect. But it's just when when a game is that close and you're not blowing anyone out, um, they had the worst defense, the worst the I, run I defense, could, yeah. catch defense. Like I couldn't believe how they were just shredding that defense apart. That secondary was atrocious. But that's why, like, remember on our picks, I, I've been saying, I'm like, I expect Baker to be throwing it 20, yeah. 30 yards, right? But um, that's exactly what they did. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I think no matter who faced Philly, they were going to put up 30 points. Yeah. Right? Because Philadelphia defense was just horrible. The only thing that... It's one of the worst defensive. What kept them alive this season for all those wins was when they were actually running the ball and moving, their offense was moving, time of possession, right? Now their offense wasn't even moving, right? The last two months. It's like their offense wasn't moving at all. It's like three and out and touchdown other way. Yeah, three what, and out. That's what happens when you, got, points. When you yeah. got Patricia coordinating your defense now. Yeah. yeah. I don't know why at the at the end of last season you get rid of both your coordinators. Offensive coordinator, defensive coordinator when you make the Super Bowl. Yeah, that's kind of wild. That right? is just Who do you guys think they are? Masai Ujiri? Firing your coach of the year? Yeah. Yeah, whatever. Who cares? Yeah. All right. I think I'm uh, I'm going to take Detroit. I think you guys convinced me. You're damn right. I think yeah. we talked ourselves into Detroit. Yeah. Yeah, no. I I got yeah, I got did. Detroit too. Detroit stand up. All right, now we're going to talk about my Super Bowl because if the Bills win this game against Kansas City, that's a Super Bowl for me. They can get blown out by Baltimore next round. But this is one of those legacy making games for Josh Allen. This is a do or die. So you, you got cannot, Buffalo? You can my heart says Buffalo. I'm gonna put money on KC. So when Patrick Mahomes you know, sh- makes me shed tears. You know, I'll get a little bit of money out of that. It's this it's that narrative that everyone's kind of running on that, you know, Mahomes is finally playing in Buffalo. Yeah. Right? Which I don't think means anything. Yeah, I it think doesn't. that's an overblown it, as well. It means nothing. Cause what what advantage or disadvantage is Mahomes gonna be in playing in those conditions? None. Yeah. I don't yeah, think it right. matters. Yeah, they both they're both cold weather teams. They can both play on the yeah. road. Mahomes has amazing stats home or away. And based on what I said in the wild card, KC just has that pedigree. Yep. The yeah, Bills I think, don't. I think right now, exactly. if you're just looking at this year alone, the Bill the KC has the pedigree. They got the past. They got the history. They got a great defense. But the Bill like the Bills should I think the it's Bills are favored for a reason. And if you just look at this year, they should be favorites. They can put up 30, 40 points. You know, Kansas City struggled to score. You know, their receivers have dropped a lot of balls. Um, 
But it's gonna be interesting. Like these, like this is the matchup we all wanted. Yeah. So Casey's just gonna pound, pound him. I think I'm going Casey. Yeah. So I think we're all on the same page here. But I think this year is the best shot that Buffalo will have of beating Casey. Because Casey is struggling very hard to score points, to get touchdowns. And Buffalo's defense, no matter how banged up they are, is playing so good. And they, you know, they cause turnovers. They hold them. And then it's just all up to the offense. And if Allen doesn't turn it over, I think they win the game. That's well, the key, man. Right? That's the key. Josh but, Allen cannot turn over the ball. And and in the playoffs, he, you know, he's been really good. But I think until they actually do it, it's very hard to pick them, right? Yeah, that's the thing. I'm a pick them. Let's go Bills. Okay, so now em. you change the pick. No, I like I said, my yeah. heart says Bills, so I'm going to go with no, the yeah, Bills. Yeah, he said he's his heart's Bills, but he's yeah. betting but, 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 yeah, yeah, but So my, he's hedging his... Yeah, I got to hedge, uh, I gotta, yeah. you know, the happiness bet. You know, we got to hedge our <laughs> hedge our luck there a little bit. But I guess the consensus here is Casey, because me and you got Casey. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think most people will be leaning, like, I guess Buffalo is the, you know, they're more flashy, especially this year. And you got Josh Allen running 52 yards for a TD. Um... But yeah, if he can, if they can just stay clean, force a couple turnovers, they'll have a really good shot at winning this game. Otherwise, that's the thing. Cook, like he, he's got to have his, you know, hundred yards. Yeah, he's got hundred yard. I think can't turn the ball over. And <laughs> as long as they do those two things, no turnovers by Josh, and Cook gets his hundred yards, I think they win the game. Josh is gonna have a thirty-two yard run, and then on the next play, he's gonna be a pick six. Very possible. <laughs> Just don't, I'm, man. Don't even I put that not. energy out there, man. Come on. Uh, but like I said, this is this is it for the Buffalo Bills. Like, this is do or die. This is your third shot at it. Like, you know, I think that the story ends. Like, if Mahomes, Casey win this, like, I think that's it. Yeah, man. They're they're perfect ever since the coach came out and said he uh, supported Al-Qaeda. <laughs> yeah. So, <laughs> that could be something, That's too, something. Right? You know, yeah. the, the one thing that... I, I will say that I forgot to touch on was uh, for Philly and Dallas. I feel like you were saying in the Dallas game, right? They started after that first touchdown, CD's all pissed off and there's all this like, you know, internal. Yeah, there's all this tension. Confusion. You could just feel it. But I feel like Philadelphia for the last month, they've been in that they've, position. Yeah, they've just been going through Total that, chaos. Uh, so I feel like that team is just ready to implode. They're, yeah, they're shambolic. It's, it's over I think that's them. it. I yeah. think that's yeah. like they're done. They had their shot last year. Mm-hmm. I think they're going to regress now. Yeah, that's it. All right. So that's uh, divisionals. That's so the we'll, divisional uh, round. That's so we'll, picks. we'll see how that goes this weekend. And uh, we'll catch you guys for the, uh, the conference finals. Yeah. And by the way, we will post our picks just like last week. So check out our socials. Check out Twitter. Check out Instagram. We'll throw our uh, picks up there as well. Yeah. And our parlays. All right. So enjoy the games this weekend. And uh, we'll catch you guys next week and see how the conference finals shape up. All right. Peace. All right, peace, peace out. Peace out.